get this last question where I won't ask you. Eh? Mm -hmm. eh, it's about Ghana. But I want to know. Nana, mm -hmm. when you sign the, the LGBT, the anti LGBT, this one. Nana, if you look, look inside. Nana, look inside, Nana, look do, Nana do will not sign this anti LGBT bill today or tomorrow. Because Why they know the effect and the consequences that will hit this nation. With that, Ghana needs development. Ghana is under undeveloped. Ghana needs development. Ghana not developed yet. We need money from the Igbo. Without the white people, we are nobody. Recently, the money where enter Ghana, 3.70 billion, where they are expecting right now, is coming from the LGBT members. They own the world, they own money right now. So if Nanadu follow this colonial politicians in Ghana here, where they don't know anything, apart from reading John 10.30, I and my father are one. Apart from reading their books, they don't do any research about the world. All they believe in is the Bible and the power they have. Politicians should come and tell the world that if they chop money, we should put them in prison. That one will help the world. But somebody is sexual life because of somebody want chop in us. Somebody want do the see LGBT na big fraternity na big spirit na big society for world where they are recruiting children, sharp brain children, children that will grow up to become somebody in the society, president, ministers, philanthropists, rich beings that they collect. So nobody can face these people. We can only be mute and quiet about them. God is the only, the only spirit that can challenge them. And God to not make ready say, it will come today or it will come tomorrow. So Ghana, Nanado will not dare. Nanado will not even try to sign that bill. Nanado know the reason. And you know why? Only the few shadow-minded Ghanaians who don't know anything. They are only living day by day. Those day dreamers politicians, they live by the day. How much they make by the day. How much they eat by the day. How many pekus they go lick by the day. That is what they enter their mind. So Nanado will not sign it today or tomorrow. So the LGBT around the world, free your mind. This bill will go anywhere. Ah. Okay, please. No, no, we're not going anywhere. Okay, I mean, I'm done, though. Thank you. This me. country, they, they will not get any help. This country needs development. You, how many politicians in Ghana can say they have, they can boast on their chest, apart from Canada, Japan, say they have company, that they, they have included, they have, they have recruited more than uh, 50,000 or 20,000 Ghanaians workers that are working for them. How many politicians in Ghana here? See, Guda, if you pass this law, then don't give birth again. Because all the politicians in Ghana here, they are children. They will become the negative LGBTQ. LGBT, they are positive and negative. The positive are the rich people. And the negative are the poor people. Those are the people when you go to Jamestown, you see them. Those are the negative. They are not called. But I pressure they carry them go there. So many of the politicians, their children, great, great, great grandchildren, they will become the negative and the world will bring out so that you see that your papa or your grandfather they thought they made them put people for prison. Now them, them are told them will go prison first because many of the politicians in Ghana here, from their wives and even their children, they are LGBTQ. See, I'm working on it in the spiritual world. I will bring them on the media. Watch the movie and see. Politicians who are in parliament today sitting down quietly that they should pass this bill and put people in prison. Because of somebody not go still. You the politician, you still in Ghana here. Lie to the people that you can do this, you can do this. Enrich yourself with your family. Nobody arrest you. You won't can arrest somebody. This bill will go pass in Ghana here today or tomorrow. So stop debating about it and think of how you move Ghana forward. Didn't you? I'll be what they are doing. See, Guda, if you know the truth, eh, the truth will always set you free. See, in the blind man's country, one eye man, now he be the borough. Ghana is blind. Now all this year, be the one eye man in Ghana here. <laughs> Parliament, they are blind. They don't know anything. What do they know? They go get you. They go get me for where? You call me, I go answer you. I don't get off. What you go do me? I don't fear you. Yes.